Vice President Kamala Harris in Michigan talking about the attempted assassination of Donald no Trump. Penis, horrible and cowardly act. My husband Doug and I are thankful he was not seriously injured. That day, as soon as we saw what was happening, we said a prayer for his well-being. And our thoughts immediately turned to Melania, who we have met, and their family. The bottom line is no one should have to fear for the safety of a loved one because they serve in public office. Our heart goes out to the family of Corey Comparator, a true hero who died protecting his family. And Doug and I, of course, are holding them close in our hearts. We are also wishing those who were critically injured that day a swift and full recovery. And we are thankful to the United States Secret Service, the first responders, and local authorities. The United States of America, I believe, is the greatest democracy the world has ever known. Yes. But in the aftermath of this weekend's shootings, and shooting, excuse me, one of the questions we now confront, the one of the questions we now confront is about the way we should engage with one another in this campaign. On Sunday evening, our President Joe Biden issued a call for unity. And there must be unity around the idea that while our nation's history has been scarred by political violence, violence is never acceptable. There can be no equivocation about that. At the same time, the hallmark of American democracy, the hallmark of any democracy, is a strong competition of ideas, policies, and a vision for the future. And just as we must reject political violence, we must also embrace a robust discussion about what is at stake in this election. The surest way to reaffirm the strength of our democracy is by engaging in a vigorous and civil exchange of ideas, and one of the ideas, and one of the principles that is at stake in this election is the issue of reproductive freedom. And that is why I am here today to discuss that topic, and I look forward to our conversation. Thank you all very much. Hey there, MSNBC fans. I'm Luke Russert, and be sure to join me, Rachel Maddow, Jen Psaki, Lawrence O'Donnell, Steve Kornacki, Joy Reid, and many more September 7th in Brooklyn, MSNBC Live Democracy 2024. Click on the link for ticket information. We will see you there.